Good morning everyone. Today we have a new sunny and it's 26 SY 26U and the customer uh, is saying that he has a problem with the uh, auxiliary hydraulics and it's auxiliary number two and his uh, tilt bucket is not working properly so we'll look into that right now <coughs> it's a brand new machine it has 146 hours and let's take a look what's happening with the machine <coughs> tries to go to the right but then it just keeps pushing to the left uh, I can if I touch the button I can move it a little bit see <coughs> now I can move it slowly but when I hold the button nope it just keeps going the opposite way so we have uh, we have some possibilities we have some possibilities which way could we go we'll check uh, first we'll check the, uh, input data from the joystick to the to the computer uh, we'll do that here. So pilot input, pilot output, that's all good. Oh, here we are. So we have a proportional valve, uh, left joystick uh, right to the right, and we have the left joystick to the left. So this is the one. So I'll move it to the left. Yes, so it is moving left joystick to the left. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now left joystick to the right. Yeah, that's moving. And now we will check. Can we check the. Oh, no, we can't. Engine oil pressure, LS pressure. I would reckon that's all good. And I can see the hydraulic lines uh, trying to push, but just not being able to push. I would say we have a problem with the tilt bucket. And I would say we have a problem with this valve. This is the some kind of a braking valve, so it's just uh, cylinder stays locked in place. And I would say we have a problem with that. I will take a look. I disconnected the hydraulic hoses and now I will remove that from the cylinder and I have the other one that I will install there so we'll test okay I replaced the cylinder lock I even replaced the auxiliary ports and I still get the same thing so my opinion would be that there is an internal fault in the hydraulic cylinder. We'll check that next. Thank you. Okay, now I remove the cylinder, I loosen the nut, and we'll see. Uh, it's still not going by hand. Uh. It's kind of hard to do with one hand but okay I have to do that without camera okay I got it loose put a rag so we don't have a big oil leak let's see what do we have inside here I hope there is something cracked and hello what happened here we have a crack 
Well done, Stefan. You were right. So we found our problem. We have a cracked piston in the cylinder and it was probably... Well, let's see what's inside. Inside, ah, it's oil. Have to drain the oil and we'll have to push the push the piston head out. Uh, I checked the cylinder, cleaned it inside and I'm not sure we'll be able to see. It's damaged on the inside so we can't use neither the cylinder, neither the piston or the rod so we need this brand new. Okay, I I will go now talk to my boss and see what what can we do here. Uh, I'm in the workshop now. I removed the piston from the hydraulic cylinder. You can see it's damaged, it's broken. So it goes like this. And oil comes from one side and pushes the pushes the cylinder out or from the other side and pushes the cylinder in and we have we had a problem that this piston was stuck all the way in the back there and from whichever side we got oil inside the cylinder it would still push the uh, it, would, it would still push the rod out so that was our problem if you have a similar problem I've never seen this, but maybe someone has the same problem and this could help him. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel and see you at the next one.